John Rasmussen, principal at Thomas Page Academy. Uh, we're a K-8 school out here in the bucolic setting of Katadi. And uh, I have some parents with us uh, who would like to talk about how wonderful it is to be here. My name is Monica. I have a kindergartner and a fourth grade. Uh, one of the things I like about Thomas Page is that it feels like a community. It does not feel like a big school. It feels like a small community. Um, and the setting is beautiful. It's out in the country. Um, we have a huge playground for the kids to play in. Um, it's just a wonderful environment for my kids. My name is Kathy. I have a son who's in ninth grade who went to Thomas Page for kindergarten through fifth grade. And I also currently have a daughter who's in first grade here at Thomas Page. I'm Dana Glenn. I have a son that's in ninth grade and a daughter who's in fourth grade. And I've been a, ten, a, ten, I've been a parent at Thomas Page for ten consecutive years. Wow. Well, thank you for coming and uh, talking to us. Uh, basically, Thomas Page has um, some changes that are occurring this, com this year and moving on to the next couple of years. We're including technology. Uh, we're being Wi-Fi through our school system as we speak. Uh, Gallo Winery has donated 120 laptops and those will be coming to us uh, very soon. And those will be used within the classroom. And we are also have also brought in a number of um, computer programs that will help the, with instruction and reading. And we're looking at one coming in January for uh, math. And so we're offering support here at the school uh, that uses technology, but also uh, those things can be used at home too. Uh, another emphasis is that we're looking at ecology as an emphasis for our school. We're using technology like we would use a pencil and then uh, focus on ecology so that we could be uh, stewards of our land, stewards of our use, stewards, stewards of those things that uh, we have in our possessions so that we could uh, help each other and help our earth uh, do well. And we're also including the ideas of what's called 21st century learning. And 21st century learning is where you learn something within the classroom and then you take it out the very next day. And so we've been in contact with Katadi's uh, planning commission and uh, they're developing their master plan for 20 years. And uh, with their help, they're developing a walkway that is going to be safe for bicycling and walking to campus. Because we are dependent on uh, busing and cars at the site. And that's one of our future plans is to, in the next couple of years, develop a, a good pathway between here and downtown Katadi. That way, we could also take what we we're learning within the classroom to the city of Katadi, and so that we could apply what we're learning to help out our communities. He's a great kid. He's very bright. And he got such a wonderful education at Thomas Page, and not just the academics, but also the interpersonal skills and that the way that the, the teachers here and the staff treated him, they treated him like an individual and they, he didn't get lost in the shuffle or lost in the crowd. He was allowed to develop his own unique talents and personality and perspective. And I think that prepared him so well for going to middle school. He did expeditionary learning at Lawrence Jones and it also prepared him well to go to Technology High. And I honestly, I think my husband and I could have spent a fortune on our son's education and he would not have gotten a better education than he did for free here at Thomas Page. And I'm just delighted that my daughter gets the opportunity to go to Thomas Page as well. And I'm so excited about the direction that Thomas Page is going. And I'm just delighted to be a parent here. Same with Kathy. My son um, is very bright, so same thing. We could have spent money to put him somewhere else. But I think the teachers that he had here recognize his strengths and help him develop his strengths and recognize what he needs help in and push him. Um, they push him, but not push him enough where he loses interest. He really, really enjoys learning. Um, same with my daughter. My daughter, the kindergarten teachers here are amazing. They, I think, really set the foundation for later years and the kindergarten teachers here gave both my kids such a strong education and gave them such a love of learning that they are successful because of that. Wow. Yeah, I have. I I agree that my son's kindergarten teacher really started him off on the right foot because she really introduced him to the idea that learning is fun and exciting and not drudgery. And he's take he's carried that attitude and that belief with him all throughout school. The way they teach it, the way they teach, um, they recognize like his teacher this year. His math, he's really good at math, and she recognized that he does really well at math, so she started giving him fifth grade math, because she recognized very early in the year that he was getting bored by some of the math that he was doing. 
and also having him apply it to real life situations to make it more interesting for him. Um, and I know from talking to other parents and uh, friends of mine that teachers don't always recognize that. They don't always recognize the needs of the child. And I think the teachers that both my kids have had here really recognize their strengths and recognize what they need to, to succeed. Katani has a lot of strengths as a community itself and it offers a lot of um, benefits with the ecology. There's a number of groups doing things and just being out here in the country, uh, just on the outskirts of the city of Katani, is uh, quite nice. Um, you get this feeling that the kids relax, they're not as tense, they um, play with each other at different age groups and, and such. And as part of our uh, philosophy is to have the inter-age, inter-grade level uh, work as to kids helping other kids. Have you seen that on campus? Have you seen older kids help younger kids and such? Uh, yeah, I have. My daughter is a fourth grader and she comes home talking about her second grade buddy. They get together and they write or they read together and she really enjoys the time that she gets to spend with her second grade buddy. <laughs> oh wow, that's good to hear. Does it help her? You know, it really does. She's always, she's struggled a lot with reading and writing. She enjoys a good story, but the actual putting, getting the words to make sense in her brain has always uh, been a bit of a struggle. So she worked with, um, sorry, Molly's pro program, Miss Bishop. yeah. Bishop's program, and um, it really has helped her. Now she's, she can't do that anymore, but I think the sort of head start and the push she got with Miss Bishop has made a huge um, change in her reading. She's more confident now. She reads for pleasure and she never would have done that before. So I'm really happy. Well, that's good. That's good to hear. I've known uh, Dana's daughter since she was just a few weeks old and I have seen the difference in your daughter's reading. Mm -hmm. We were, I, we, we went out to lunch one day and Lily was reading the menu and I don't think I've ever seen her do that before. Yeah, she's gotten a lot more confident. Yeah. That's good. Cross ages do help and such. And mm -hmm. uh, your fourth grader has also been a falcon. Yeah, he's, he doesn't like to read, doesn't like to write. His favorite is math and science. Um, and his teacher, when we had our teacher conference, told us that he scored low on the benchmark. She, bet, she said, that's not where he should be. So when they broke up into the RTI groups, mm -hmm. she put him in the advanced group. Mm -hmm. She said, this is where he needs to be. Which I really appreciate the fact that she recognized that it's not just the test. Yes. It's what she sees in the class. So she, she said, he needs to be pushed. So he's being pushed. And I think his reading and his writing have improved a lot this year from last year. That's so, yeah. good to hear. And are you uh, satisfied with some of the supports that we offer here uh, at Thomas Page uh, through PE or band or other ac um, additional academics? Uh, yeah, I am. My daughter's just started music now with Mr. Larkin. She loves that, and that's bringing out a whole new musical side of her that she loves and I okay. love. And uh, PE is great. She always she comes home telling me how hard she worked. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, Mom, I do get lots of exercise. <laughs> yeah, that is good. That is good. That's always helpful. Also, my son went through speech therapy in kindergarten and first grade, and he loved it. I mean, it really helped him with his speech. He had problems with lisping and his THs, and yeah, he, he flourished with it. Oh, that's yeah. good to hear. Yeah, my son started band here with Mr. Larkin, and he continued through his middle school years, and he really enjoyed it. He would still be doing it now, but um, his schedule doesn't allow for it at Technology High. All right. And uh, what kind of things are you excited about in the near future for uh, Thomas Page? You know, I'm really excited about the direction Thomas Page is heading. Um, I love the ecology and the technology. I mean, I, I think most of our kids now have computers and stuff at home, but they don't learn to use it for research and stuff for our home use. They don't right. get that experience. So it's great to have a place where they can do that. And of course, we want them to be good stewards of their community. So I'd love that the school is heading in, the, in a community-oriented um, direction. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I agree. I, I really love the idea of the school partnering with with the city of Katadi mm -hmm. and some of the Katadi organizations, like there's an organization called Katadi Creek Critters that does creek cleanup, and my son has volunteered with them, and I, I suspect that my daughter, because my daughter does what my son does, I think that <laughs> she's going to want to do it too when she gets a little older. So I think that's great. That's good to hear. That's good to hear. We are in contact with Katadi Creek Critters and with uh, Laguna de Santa Rosa too. Oh, good. So we'll be involved with in the near future with that. Those organizations. Good. Such, so. Well, we just hooked up the Lexia reading program at our at our mm -hmm. house and at my parents' house, 
And I went over after work on Saturday or Sunday, and my daughter was already doing the Lexi. And she, my mom said she had been there for half an hour. She oh, really cool. liked it. So yeah. And that's one of the programs that we brought in to help support uh, kids in their reading. You know, if the kids are way advanced. Uh, it could give them additional support, and if they're uh, missing some kind of skills or something, the Lexia program could recognize that and help them with that. So it's good to hear that uh, people are using it at home too, and such. So, um, in closing, is there anything that you would say to a parent that is considering Thomas Page? What would you say uh, to that parent? I would say don't overlook Thomas Page. It is a wonderful school with wonderful teachers, an excellent principal, <laughs> and a great environment. And I think it's a, an excellent place for children to come and get a good education, not only in the academics, but in the other skills as well. So don't overlook Thomas Page. I agree, it's a wonderful school. I mean, the teachers here that I've had, that my kids have had so far are amazing. Um, it is a community. It feels like a real community. It feels like everyone knows everyone else, everyone is very caring. It's a wonderful school. Yeah, I agree with Monica. It's very much a community. One of the things I love is where is our location. I love that the kids out on the playground can watch the horses in the pasture behind us. Mm -hmm. um, last year, my daughter had a field trip to one of the community farms just a block or so over. They got to walk there and experience what a family farm feels like. Mm -hmm. um, I love that everybody knows everybody. All of the staff treat the children as if they're their own. They really care for them, not just academically, but personally. They care about the outcomes of these children. And I, I just love the environment here at Thomas Page. Yep. Well, thank you. I appreciate you uh, volunteering to come in and uh, share your ideas and thoughts about Thomas Page. <laughs>